Welcome to the Mac OS G podcast video tech tip number two, Keychain Access Overview. Keychain Access is a tool included with OS X that allows you to store all your sensitive information in one secure place, making it easy for applications to access. Keychain stores application passwords such as those used by Safari for internet logins, digital certificates such as those used by iChat for encryption, file server logins for frequently accessed file servers, and personal information such as bank account numbers and PIN numbers. To open Keychain Access, go to the Utilities folder in your Applications folder and double-click on the Keychain Access icon. The default keychain for your account is the login keychain. This keychain gets opened up when you log into your computer and remains open until you log out. The default view is on all items. You can highlight a single item and double click it in order to get more information on that item. In this Safari autofill item, we're going to show the password. In order to show the password, you will need to supply your keychain password. It will then show you the stored password value for that item. One of the features of Keychain is that you can set a preference in Keychain Access Preferences to show status in menu bar. When you check this box, you will see a little lock show up in your menu bar. You can use this menu to lock or unlock keychains or to just lock your screen. When you lock your screen, it will require a user password in order to be able to unlock the screen. You can create a new keychain in Keychain Access by selecting New Keychain from the File menu. We're going to create a personal keychain. The first thing you need to do when you create a new keychain is to assign a password to that keychain. To use the Password Assistant, click the little key next to the Password field. This will bring up the Password Assistant. The Password Assistant will show you visually how secure your passwords really are. You can choose one from the available menus or you can assign one manually. The password assistant will show you how secure your password that you enter is. If you enter a word that is in a dictionary, it will show you that that password is insecure. If you substitute a number for a letter in your password, you'll notice that it increases the quality on the password. Here I've replaced the O in password with a zero. Mixing numbers with uppercase, lowercase, and multiple words increases the security on your password and is desirable. Here I'm going to use now is the time and replace the O's with zeros and the I's with ones. You'll notice that as you enter a password that it automatically enters that password into the password field in the keychain password dialog. You will then need to re-enter your password into the verify field manually in order to set the password for your new keychain. Keychain also has the ability to create secure notes. In order to create a secure note in your personal keychain or in any keychain, select New Secure Note Item from the File menu. This will bring up a note dialog. Enter a name for your note. Here I'm going to enter bank information. In the note field, put the body of the information that you want to remain secure, such as bank account numbers, PIN numbers, and any information that you'd like to keep secure. Then click the Add button. You now have a bank information secure note inside your personal keychain. You can lock your keychain by going to the file menu and selecting Lock Personal Keychain. Now, when we try to view information that is inside that bank information secure note we created, it will prompt us for our keychain password. After you enter your password, it will then ask for permission to access the bank information item from the keychain. You will need to re-enter your password for that specific item in your keychain. After you enter your password into Keychain Access, you will have to tell it whether or not you want to allow it to use it once or to always allow the use of this password on the keychain. Once you say OK, then it will show the notes that are attached with that secure note.
For added security, you may wish to change the password associated with your keychain so it is different than the login password. Select Change Keychain Password from the Edit menu. It will prompt you to enter your current password, then it will prompt you to enter a new password. Here we're going to use the password assistant again in order to check the security of our new password. I'm going to use the now is the time password again, only this time I'm going to use a mix of uppercase and lowercase letters and numbers. This will provide a fairly secure password for your keychain. After you have completed this step, just enter the password again to the verify field and your password on your keychain will then be different than your login password. It's very important that when you change your keychain password, please be sure and archive a copy of the password that you create. In the event you forget your password, it's not possible to recover the password from your keychain and it is possible you could lose all the data stored inside your keychain. As you use your computer, you'll notice that the number of items in your keychain will start to grow. To remove an item from a keychain, select the item you wish to remove. Go to the Edit menu and pull down to Delete. Click Delete in the Confirmation dialog and that item will be removed from your keychain. In the event that you start to experience problems with your keychain, Apple has included a keychain first aid. Select keychain first aid from keychain access, select verify or repair, and click the start button. It will then verify or repair your keychain.